Canada West. I'm back. We just arrived in Alberta two days ago and we are just, just enjoying this beautiful rain that is soaking the earth here and thanking the Lord for the blessing of rain that is coming to Alberta, but thanking him for the many blessings that he is just raining upon us on Canada West. And I just hear so many good reports and I'm excited that to, we are a part of this district where God is doing great things. And we are seeing God move through Nazarene Missions International as well. And we're getting excited to have the Sotos come on a deputation tour. In just a little while, in a week and a half, we'll be heading to Winnipeg to meet them there. And so many of you have been so gracious about arranging services in special ways and having them be hosted in your homes and I just want to thank you for that. And those of you who aren't aren't uh, connected to a service yet, it's not too late. Please get in touch with me or with Ria. You don't want to miss out on hearing from the Sotos. They are going to be such a blessing to you and to your church. And we're really excited about it. So I just want to encourage you to really attend their service and support them and hear what they have to say about what God is doing. And it's very interesting that the Sotos are in charge of Nazarene mission teams in Mesoamerica. And so today I have a really um, short video that I want to, to include for you to see the big changes in Nazarene mission teams. It used to be called Work and Witness, and now it's Nazarene mission teams. But before I do that, I just wanna give you the exciting news. We are sending a team to Papua New Guinea, and I am so excited. There are three men from Rocky Mountain House going. It's not too late to get in on it. It is an expensive trip because it's a long ways there but it is so worth it. God is doing so many amazing things there and we get to be a part of it. And Nazarene Missions Teams allows us to do things in many ways. So not only are we gonna be building, we're gonna be doing women's ministry, we're gonna be doing children's ministry, we're gonna teach music and worship, we're gonna do all kinds of workshops and things to help the people there. We are going to bandage some sores. We are going to do a lot of things while we're there. And we're going to encourage those people. And they are going to encourage us. And we're going to come back to you with a wonderful report. In the meantime, Penny and her group of 15 are heading to Costa Rica for Encuentro. And God is supplying their needs. God is meeting needs for finances and for um, just every little aspect of it. We have a family in Bakersfield that are joining us and they really wanted to go, but they just did not see how they could possibly afford tickets for four people to go. They just didn't have it. And we just said, you know, if God wants you to go and you feel like he's calling you to do this, sometimes you step out in faith and then you trust him. Well, they did. And they booked tickets. And the very next day, Jason said, you won't believe what happened. But I went to work and asked for the time off. Not only did they give me the time off, but they said, we feel like we should give you $1,000 for that, for that trip. He said, wow, that's wonderful. And then he was talking, he, he hauls propane. He was talking to one of his customers about what they were doing. And his customer said, well, if you ever need help, I, I want to help. He said, let me see what I've got in my pocket. And he reached out in his pocket and he handed him $300. And he said, next time you're here, who knows what will be in my pocket. And then he went back to work the next day. And his boss said, you know, we thought about it. And we thought, we shouldn't just give you $1,000 for this trip. We should give you $2,500. So God is answering their prayers and God will meet the needs
needs of the people who are faithful to obey his call. He will, he will honor those who step out in faith. And I want to encourage you that if God is calling you to be on a Nazarene missions team, now is the time. And God is excited to have you be a part of it. And we are too. So I hope you enjoy and that you can promote Nazarene missions teams with this little video. I hope you have a wonderful week and start getting excited about the Sotos and about reunion because we're going to have a great time. 50 years ago, a movement of short-term teams started in the Church of the Nazarene, Men in Missions. Teams started going to assist churches in other countries with building structures. It quickly became Work and Witness, our Nazarene family's way of serving shoulder to shoulder to different districts across borders and around the world. In that 50-year span, more than 10,000 teams have served in over 130 countries connecting brothers and sisters across geographic and language divides. As we look to the future, we know there's even more room to invite Nazarenes from around the world to go and use their skills and gifts to serve. Nazarene Missions Teams encompasses work and witness construction teams, sports, medical, technology, emergency response, education, evangelism, and compassionate ministries. Through Nazarene Missions teams, you can use your skills to learn, teach, play, build, and share hope in a thousand different ways from any region to the world. How is God calling you?